Hi, my name is Matt Brown and I'm a solutions architect at Squid. In this video, we're gonna talk about basic CRUD apps. We're gonna build on top of a page that was already built in a previous video that shows a list of records on the account object in Salesforce. Now just a quick refresher, we already set this page up by creating a model that pulls in records from our account object and we decided that we wanted to get a few fields to display and we're displaying those records and fields inside a table component. So again, we have a data layer in our application and then we have a visual layer that, display, that uses components to display that data. Now the squid table component is one of the more advanced components in squid's library and uh, it's gone through a lot of iterations. It gives the user access to all the CRUD actions that they uh, might need to perform out of the box. Um, now just a reminder as well, our model is going to respect whatever your security model is on the back end. And so if the user doesn't have access to certain records, they won't show. Um, and if they only have edit access on a few records and they try to make changes on something uh, that they don't have access to, then um, they'll get an error message uh, or it'll show in read only mode. So what this looks like in the runtime is we can see those records iterating over multiple rows in our table component. They're paginated uh, over a couple different pages. So we're able to do uh, whatever uh, reading of those records, the R and CRUD uh, that we need to do. If we need to create a row, we can click on this plus icon. Again, this is just, just comes out of the box with the table component and we can add a new record in line. All right, so we're creating a new technology company. And then we can hit save, and this save and cancel button come again out of the box with the table component, and we commit those changes back to the, to the Salesforce data. We can also update records in line. So if I notice I need to make a change in one of these descriptions, I can. Uh, they just moved their headquarters to Austin from Houston can save those changes back, that's the U in CRUD. We can update records inline um, using inline editing. And then finally, if I need to delete a record, I can click on this plus this uh, X icon over here on the left, and uh, that will flag the record for deletion, and when I save it, it'll delete the record from our database. And with that, we've performed all the CRUD actions that I might need to do as a user, um, just using the table component in SQUID. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks so much for watching.